about 20 years ago, uh, Eastgate Systems published my first novel. And it was a hypermedia novel called Uncle Buddy's Phantom Funhouse. And this is the actual box that the Funhouse ships in. And it is, as Mark Bernstein likes to say, a chocolate box full of death. It was, I believe, the first boxed product that Eastgate did to let it in slipcases. And these are boxes because there's a lot of stuff inside. When you open it up, there is an introductory uh, how-to guide. You have to remember, in 1982, you had to explain to people how hypertext worked. So this was explaining what previous and next hours were. Things have come a long way in, in the past 20 years. So you had this which was the introductory guide. And then this, I believe, is a later edition, but it shows how to unpack and load it on your computer because the later versions shipped on a CD as opposed to the five floppies that were in the original box. Um, up till then, interactive fictions were typically text-based were written either in a bespoke system or in something like story space, which would all fit comfortably on a single copy. And what I was doing with the Funhouse, the big idea, if I had one, was to create a fiction that was told entirely through modally appropriate artifacts. So you are asked to imagine, once you're in this part of the box, that you are now the literary executor of a vanished science fiction writer named Arthur Buddy Newkirk. And everything that's in here was as Newkirk left it. So these would have been the floppies that were in Newkirk's machine. And these were tapes that Buddy had recorded with his band. The story of Emily and the Time Machine another tape called Retribution. And then in the bottom of the box, what appears to be a letter to Buddy Newkirk from an editor saying, here are page proofs of tree. I think the illustration goes real well. Hope it's OK with you. I have a few questions indicated. If you get back to us by mid-November. And then there's actually a set of page proofs from a science fiction story which was scheduled, apparently, to appear in Vortex, the anthology of cyber fiction. And as page proofs often do, there are errors and questions marked on the text. And this is a 8,000 word short story that was apparently in production at the time Arthur Newkirk disappeared. So to begin the traversal, as I think most people would, in those long ago days when we didn't have MP3, we probably have put their first cassette in the machine. a little bit and then open up the stack that says read me first. Life, life, life. 